Hey everybody, it's JP here, and to my surprise, I was uh, I was on the phone with basically my other uh, really good friend who's in Tekken, it, who's into Tekken. Um, he said there was a Xiao Yu trailer, so I look it up, and sure enough, they released Xiao Yu today. So breaking the streak of you know Tuesdays and Fridays for the last what two or three weeks maybe. Uh, maybe, I mean, my time is off, but, um, yeah, so we have one today. Who's to say there might be one tomorrow and then another one Friday? So it's like, who are they going to be releasing now? So I'm going to just take a look at Xiaoyu here and see what she brings. Uh, here we go. Dancing Phoenix. Shao Yao. Oh, look at her costume. Ooh. There's that. Yep. I recognize all those moves. Oop, there's that kick. cool <laughs> oh, it's just a cute wind pose okay hold on a sec I'm gonna run back let me look, look through, the, through this again because there's so many moves that she does that like I don't know, for some reason, I still have a hard time dealing with her. Um, granted, I hadn't played in a little bit, but even then, like... Look, I'm gonna be real. There are some people who will be online and they'll be like, Oh, this character is so-and-so, or this character is low tier or weak or anything. It's just like, you know, with Tekken... Every character has some kind of value. If you're willing to put the time in to learn that character, that character can be good. You just have to actually spend the time to, to learn that character. If anyone says that a character is, you know, low value or less than whatever they say it is, most likely they have trouble dealing with that character. Like, I'll admit, I have trouble dealing with King. I still love King as a character, but... I have a hard time dealing with him. I have a hard time dealing with Xiao Yu. I still love her as a character, but fighting against her, I have so much trouble. Regardless, I'm still going to be trying her out and seeing if I can understand her moveset a bit more. Um, one thing I do know is I do recognize these moves because they've been pulled on me so often. I think that is new, or is it? Yeah, it's, it's, see, it's been a while. It's, it's been a while. I recognize that. Yeah, I recognize that. She went clean behind her in that one technique there. That back kick. Yeah, they definitely changed up. They had to have changed up some of her properties. Yeah, 
Yeah, if it, I don't know if it's just me, but that feels like that backflip into her Phoenix stance looks new. Unless I could be wrong, could have been something back in that they added in like tag two and then continued in T Tekken Seven. But I haven't played her enough to really fully know. But it looks new to me. I love this rage art. It reminds me of, um... <laughs> it reminds me of, let me just pause it, I'm gonna pause it right there on her, yeah, there we go. Um, it reminds me of, uh, what was it, Ninja Storm 3? I think it's Ninja Storm 3. I remember playing the Japanese version, it was, uh, uh Gekuto Ninja Tyson, so I, I think it's like Ninja Storm 3. But um, Hinata had a, uh, a special when he when she did her um, things where she would move around the person's body as she's hitting them. And that's what her rage art reminded me of. roster is going to be, but. Alright, that is Shao Yu coming to Tekken 8. Um, I'm going to be looking at this some more, and I don't know, maybe I should give it a first watch, and then record my full, complete thoughts afterwards. For one, I think it would probably be a better use of your time so that way um i'm actually providing some hopefully some you know some good information or at least from or uh, not information but like uh insight or something you know um but yeah until then that's me i'm jp and i'm out peace